This is Couples Court with the Cutlers. This is the case of Stewart versus Smith. You all have been together for two and a half years. You're engaged. You have one child together. And allegations of cheating are destroying this relationship. Is that right? Yes, yes. Your Honor. Ms. Stewart, why did you bring your fiancé to court today? Um, well, Your Honor, I believe he's cheating on me. Um, I've had to, uh, you know, ruin all of my relationships with all of my family just to be with him. And we have a kid together. So I'm really seeing if he's worth it. If you would find out that he is cheating, you're not only potentially going to lose this relationship, you will be alone. Yeah. You will not have your family to go back to. No, I will not. That's a tough choice to have to make between... This is... Yeah, yeah. Between somebody you love and your family. Right, and then you've chosen love. Yeah, I did. And the question is, has love chosen you? Mm-hmm. All right. <laughs> Mrs. Mrs. Smith? Mrs. Smith? Has love chosen her? Oh, yes. I, I, I'm really in love with her, Your Honor. We've been through thick and thin, hard times, really hard times, and we've been at our high points together. You know, she's loved my life. I want to marry her. What do you hope to prove today? That I'm not cheating, that I'm loyal to her. <laughs> and uh, I just want her to know that so we can move on. So your wedding plans have been even put on halt because of these allegations of cheating. Is that correct? Yeah, that's correct, Your Honor. Are you starting to see the classic warning signs? Yeah, I am. Okay, tell me about that. Well, like, a lot of times, I'll, when I'm, like, checking his phone, I'll see, like, text messages when he's, like, texting, like, a woman or something, and he'll call them babe oh, no. No, or no, no, boo. No. Like, you know, I can't, I can't control how what somebody says to me. No, it's not. Oh, no, it's not. No, so, no, no, it's not. Not that I, I, I can't, can't control. control. Like, yeah, no. I can't all right. Control, Look, you if I had always, a dollar... You can always... You, all right, let me correct just say it. this. You can't control, but let me tell you what you can when somebody does that, you have to put them in their place. You have to say, hey, 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 I belong to somebody else. <laughs> because when you don't check them, they presume, oh, okay, this is all right. So you have to be like, oh, no. You said you can't control it. You yeah, you can. can. But what it I mean by that is them texting me the first text. You know what I'm saying? I can't control that first text coming in. All but right. I can say something, like you just said. But you and do, do. Do you, you say something? Do. Or do you reply back, say, hey, babe, hey, boo? No, I just kind of ignore it. <sighs> I don't say you never anything. respond back. I, I respond back with, you know, like, not, not babe. But you don't boo, respond to the babe part. Yes, you have. OK, maybe sometimes. <laughs> OK, so sometimes okay. you have, OK? Yeah. That's, that's what we need to get at. Okay. So you're, you said you can't control it. Not only are you not controlling it, you're encouraging it by responding in like fashion. Right. Right? Right. Right, right. And that's not good, is it? No. Because it's got you here talking to us. What else you got? Well, I mean, when I check his phone, or sometimes when, like, I check his location, ah. um, the... he'll, he'll say, oh, I'm going here to hang out with my friends or something, but he'll always stop here, stop there. Or sometimes he'll just be somewhere else for, I mean, an hour or... How, how do you check his location? Um, well, on Snapchat, you can check it on there. Um, sometimes I use, like, Google, and I can check it through, like, my email, see where his phone's at. Wow. Why are you doing all this? Yeah. Just to just make sure, like, I just... Because a lot of times, like, I'll check his phone, and I'll see that, so now I want to make sure he's not cheating on me. That's like or five going minutes somewhere. after I leave the house, though. But you know if you go looking, you go find, right? You yeah. understand that. But see, here's the thing, though. If she's gone through his phone and uh -huh. found text messages... Right. Hey, boo, hey, babe, he's responding... Yes. ...then she's probably thinking, OK, let me check up on this. I understand. So that, that might be what's fueling some of this. Yeah. Is that a fair statement? Yeah, that's, that's a fair statement. OK, see, I get that. But I, I just... I think it's very difficult to hold a person... Well, you were at the donut shop instead of at the, at the drug store. All right, well, let me approach it this way. All right, let me see what you got. Has he been unfaithful in the past? Yes. Ah. Okay. Well, there you have it. OK, well... What happened? Well, I mean, he was with one a family member of mine, and he cheated on her with me. Oh! So you know what you're looking for. You know what the signs are. You know... Oh. So it's the classic... How you get them is how you lose them. Oh, OK. And that's, that's why your family won't talk to you. Yeah. That's why you've had to make this choice between... So it's not just disapproval of, like, I, we don't like him. It is they don't like this. Yes. And you stole him uh, from another woman. Yes. A family member. A not family just member. another woman. It See? was more like I just fell in love with her. I was down at the time. Yeah. You know, and the other family member wasn't there for you me. You cheated on her with other people, too. Yes. <laughs> yes, I did. But in my defense, we wasn't like, you know? So you were with her family member. 
fell in love with her and said, this is the one I need to be with. Yes, ma'am. And now, she thinks you're ready to move on to somebody else. Yes, Because sir. of the text messages. Yes, sir. Because it's... of your location issues. It's, it's every day, all day. Every What's day. it like in your relationship? So I say I could drop her off at work. Uh-huh. Around 2 o'clock. Probably by 4 o'clock, she's pinging my phone. Or she wants to know where I'm at. Or she'll ping my phone and then call and ask me where I'm at. Which, I, like, that's weird to me. Because you just, you just ping my phone. It comes to my phone when she does it, so I know every time she does it. Oh, or, so you know you're being hunted. Yeah, so it gets... <laughs> so, so it gets kind of annoying. So, like, sometimes I'll just stop answering the phone if I already told her where I'm at, you know? Like, you already know what I'm doing. I hang out with uh, guys. Most of the time... <laughs> most of the time, you're not where you're at. I'm where I'm at. No. A lot of times, you'll just say, I'm here and there. That's why I question you before I say anything. Because a lot of times, you just lie. Okay, so here's the question. Are you where you say you are, or do you disappear? Sometimes. But a little bit of both. Yeah. Most of the time, he'll disappear because he'll just turn it off. What periods of time does he disappear? Um, sometimes when he goes out at night after the bar, he'll just disappear. He'll turn off his location. He'll say, oh, you know, I'm gonna pick you up. We're gonna go to a party at 2 a.m. or whatever after I get out from the bar. He'll just turn off his location, not answer the phone, and then not come back until, like, 9 a.m. This is because I'm drunk, so I'm tired of falling asleep in the car, so I'm tired of falling asleep at a friend's house, you know? It's... All right. What else do you have? We share a phone together, and one day, um, I went to... He was dropping me off at work, and I took the phone with me on accident. Okay. And somebody had texted, literally, as soon as I walked into the door. Like, he had told them, hey, she goes to work at 2, text me after. Hit me up. Yeah. So, I got a text from... It was a woman, and they texted and said, oh, when are we gonna hang out? So, I texted back, they acted like I was him, and I said, oh, yeah, we can hang out later. She said, great. And then I texted back and said, are we gonna hook up, you know? And she said, no, like, I'm on my period, like they had hooked up before in a past. Yeah, yeah. Time. All right, yeah, so yeah. this is... You submitted that information in your court papers. Yeah, yeah, I have that. And this is your recollection yeah. of the text. Hey, when are you coming to see me? When can we hook up? Can't today because... Come yeah. on, Mr. Cullen. Yeah. You can't say that. We got Yana, kids, uh, man. You can say that. that I, I have a lot okay. of female... All right. I have a lot of female friends. Well, Mr. Smith, you say you have a lot of female friends. Yes. I'm curious as to what comes after that statement because it could be, I have a lot of female friends. I don't know which one of these I was planning to hook up with. If you, if you give somebody phone and, and that person interested in you, whether you've cheated with her or not, and you play like you're that somebody, when you're talking to them and they're like, interested in you and you say, oh, you want to hook up and she's wanting to hook up, I feel like she's gonna reply just like she would if it was me, but she's playing like she's somebody else. So, so you think that because she was catfishing for the, for the most part, she caught some bait? Yeah. Okay. So, my question is, have you ever caught him or found anything physically that supports yes, he's yes. cheating? Um, during the summer, he would go to those pool a lot. Okay. And there was a lot of pretty ladies at the pool in, in swimming suits. Well, one day, when I went to work and I came home, I found a bathing suit in the bathroom. And I want to presume yeah. that was not your bathing suit because you were not swimming at the time. Is yeah, that correct? I have, I have evidence. Rob, would you please yes, get that uh, folder, please? Thank you, ma'am. And so you came home, you found a bathing suit, a, a woman's bathing suit, I yes. take it? Yes. Where did you find it? It was hanging on, like, the knobs on the cabinet. Where in your house was this? In the bathroom. So huh. you, in the bathroom, you found a woman's bathing suit hanging on the knob. So when you found it, what did you do? I got really mad. I asked him about it. And he said, oh, you know, she ch was changing in the room and uh, she just needed to change out of her clothes. Do you know who this woman's... Yes, I've seen her wear it at the pool. I knew exactly who it was. Had she ever been around Mr. Smith before? Yes, yes. He Have was... you seen them flirting together? Yes. So you think this might be one of the women he's hooking up with? Yes. Yeah, yeah. that's, I'm not flirting with him, yeah. Okay. What's this woman's bathing suit doing in your bathroom? It wasn't just me and her. It was another girl, too. That doesn't sound good. <laughs> no. Mr. Smith. Okay, I'm, I'm concerned and intrigued. How many women were there? There were just two. Just two. Yeah, just two. Just two. But at the time, um, we came from the pool and we were all changing to go out to eat somewhere. You so and these two other women? I wasn't changing with them. Why would them. they be in the room? They were in the room because our bathroom is in the room. Why your, why your place? Our place? Because it was close. Half the time, was... no, because that woman, ha the 
one that's bathing suit. She had plenty of friends. I mean, she was very popular. Mm -hmm. And so she had plenty of friends that was all women's, you know, apartments where she could have went and changed. Why our bathroom? So in your complex at the pool, she could have gone to a number of women's apartments. Yes. And this would have been an issue. Is that correct? Yes. Do you see why this Thutton sound? Yeah, I didn't, you know, you know, I didn't think much of it because she's seen me Clearly. hanging with him before. She's seen, like, us kick it. We've, like, I've kicked it with him numerous of times. Okay, so what if I had but... a dude come in our bathroom and change? And his you... trunk's on the... Hang as long on as she the, wasn't uh... in the bathroom with him, like, I'm, I'm fine with that. Like, that's, that's where the, the, you know, the button's pushed is she's in the bathroom with him. I wasn't in the bathroom with her. Okay. Mr. Cutler, I think that we have enough evidence at this point. What we got is the phone. She goes on the phone and she finds text messages saying bae and boo. Mm -hmm. She comes home after a hard day's work, no less, and finds a woman's bikini hanging in her bathroom. And then the final thing was that he doesn't tell the truth about where he is. So based on all of these different factors, she believes he's cheating. So Ms. Stewart, if you find out he's cheating, your relationship is over. Yeah. You're done. Mm hmm But there's more at risk here. She's already severed tied with her family. So she's, she's just out there. She's by herself yeah. with a child. This court has done a full and complete investigation to determine, is he cheating? <laughs> at this time, the court would like to hear from licensed private investigator and certified polygraph examiner, Kendall Scholl. Ron, please escort Mr. Scholl into the courtroom. Yes, Sean. Kendall Schultz. Step right over to the monitor. Thank you, Thank you. Good day. How are you, Mr. Schultz? Good day. Fine, Your Honor. How are you? We're good. Yeah, it's good to see you. Mr. Schultz, what did you do to investigate in this case? We put Mr. Smith in a room with a very sexy woman to find out one thing. Is he a cheater? Tell us what you found. Well, as you can see here in the footage, Mr. Smith engaged in small talk with this woman. She put the moves on him to see if he would bite. And I give him credit. He showed no signs of cheating. Were you able to gather any information from this exchange? We were unable to find any evidence during this entire exchange that shows signs of cheating. All right. To further investigate this case, you also conducted a polygraph examination of Mr. Smith. Is that correct? I did, Your Honor. All right. And Mr. Smith was asked, have you ever had sexual intercourse with a woman who left her bathing suit in your bathroom? Is that correct? That's correct, Your Honor. And what was his response? He said, no. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined that he was being truthful. <laughs> and we have one other question. Mr. Smith was asked, since your relationship began with Ms. Stewart two and a half years ago, have you had sexual intercourse with anyone other than Ms. Stewart? What was his response? Well, to this particular question, uh, Mr. Smith did make an admission. He said that when he is mad at Ms. Stewart, he stays out all night, and sometimes he sleeps with another woman. Mr. Smith, how many other women are we talking about? Oh, uh, you know, that was just, it's just one. But when How? you get mad, you run to this woman. No, not, not, not repeatedly. It was just one time thing. This young lady has severed herself from her family for you. So, are you telling the truth? Yes. Are you lying now or were you lying when you confessed to him that you were with other women, sometimes more than once? When you get mad. <sighs> no. And now your fiance has just stormed out. Yeah. What do you have to say about that? I, I, I figured she was gonna get emotional about it, but, um, like Emotional? Said, it was it's literally a one... It was a one-time thing early in our relationship. One time. Ron, could you go and see if she has pulled it together and can come back? Yes, y'all. Okay. There she is. Miss Stewart, I, I know this is a lot. So much so you had to leave the room 
but you did come here for answers. I just want to know who it was with. Um, was it with the family member or somebody else? The family member. <laughs> wow. Well, now that you know that, Mr. Stewart, what do you do with that information? I want to move on. Honestly. <laughs> Mrs. Smith, is there anything you want to say to Ms. Stewart right now? I apologize. I'm sorry. I really love you, like, truly. You mean everything to me, really. If you really loved me, you wouldn't have done that. You all have been together for three years. You both want to get married, but your wedding plans are on hold, possibly forever, because of cheating allegations. Tell me why you're here, Ms. Burkhart. I've been with this man for three years. I have given him my heart, my soul. Um, I have opened up every aspect of my life to him, and he treats it like it's all just one big joke. What are you doing to make you think that he's cheating? What is happening? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> have I asked the magic question? I have, like, I have, like, every spy device possible. Okay. I have Tell G me about I have this. GPS on his car. I had, um, for, like, for a year, I had to where he could record background noise. I could read his text messages. I could even hear his phone calls. So you are out there playing I Spy. Yeah, I have to. I'm like a, I'm like a certified detective now. Just I haven't been to school for it. And you... <laughs> okay, I, I, Mr. Williams, how does this make you feel that the love of your life is, like, she got her eye on you and about 10 other eyes. In the beginning, it's cool. I understand. You know, I've done stuff. I understand everything she's doing. But now that time goes on, it's just like craziness. I mean, I just can't handle it no more. I mean, it's, so you're I'm saying... telling the truth, which you know, whatever comes out of my mouth is going to look like a lie anyway, because I already lied in the beginning. So no matter what I say, it's just going to be a lie. So you're saying because you've broken the trust... Right. I, I, you I, just... There is no oh, trust. Oh, I screwed this whole thing up. You know what I mean? I love... But in the beginning, when oh. she first put these yeah, out... Most people screw up at the end. I wanted to screw up in the beginning, so the end would get, you know? Okay. okay, well, you keep talking about this broken trust. What did you do at the beginning? I, I you know, I mean, she knew I had a girlfriend. She, she's the one who... Um, she knew I had a girlfriend, I meant. But I didn't know if, um, is this no, one right? They Wait a minute, hold up. Said. You said you had a girlfriend when you had a girlfriend? Right. So it was a triangle. Right, triangle. So, Ms. Burkhart... <gasps> This is in the beginning of your relationship? This is the beginning, yes. How, how long were you all together when it's... Uh, probably a month. <laughs> oh, my God. But you know what? <laughs> Beyond that point of that eight months on, I'm, I, honestly, I have never cheated. Okay, so, so Ms. Burkhart, he is saying I screwed up at the beginning. Right. Right. But I've been right ever since. You damn right. I've all been right. right. <laughs> <laughs> I've been certified by Mr. Williams. Okay, so what is it that makes you think he's cheating now? Um, well, first, we have the babysitter after we've been together for a year, his babysitter. Um, Tell me about that. She tried to call his phone, and I asked who it was, and he said it was the babysitter. Well, it's also his ex, one of his ex-girlfriends. Okay, hold on. So, where were you all? Where were you? Were at home in a car? Where were you? I was at home, and he was, I think, at, maybe at work that day. Okay, so and what I happened? I messaged her, and I said, "Quit calling my man." Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. You were home, and he was at work. Uh huh. Because remember, at this time, his phone's tapped and everything, so I see everything that he sees. Okay, all right. So I didn't see it on his phone. I saw it on my stuff. They already okay, about that, his phone. That's what I was confused about. Right. Okay. All right. right. So now tell me what happened. So I said, "Whose number is this?" And he's like, first he tried to say it was a guy." But I'm friends with that guy, too, and he doesn't have that phone number. So I said... Rookie mistake. Uh, right, right. right. And, then, and then he said, oh, that's my babysitter. Okay. So I said, well, why is she calling you at 3 in the morning when she's not even with your kids? Because the good ones do that. Right, right. All the time people do that. So she, I messaged her and I said, stop calling my man or I'm going to show up at your doorstep. <laughs> and she said... Okay, Miss Thang... Let me just tell you what your man's really doing. He's texting me and calling me every single day, telling me how beautiful I am and how much of a beep you are. Okay, but wait a minute. Don't you have a device on the phone? Wouldn't you see those messages to him, to her? No, he was messaging from his friend's phone. 
Oh, and you hadn't been able to get a hold of the friend's phone. Right. Mr. Williams, question number one. Why is the babysitter calling you at 3 in the morning? Um, this whole thing was just a... It was just a messed up thing. And I told the chick I don't want nothing to do with it no more. Then that's when she decides to call and say, hey, you know what your boyfriend's been doing? La, 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 la. Like, I was just like... Well, you kind of glossed over that a little bit. I don't want to... I was about to say, Mr. Tyler, you gonna let him do that? That was real smooth how he tried to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ask the question. Why is the babysitter calling you at 3 in the morning? Uh, to to get together. (laughs) Okay, let me ask a different question. Wait, wait, he answered it. To get together. Right. To get together with you. Yeah, to borrow some money. To get together money, with you to, to do something. To borrow some money or whatever. Well, well the it's whatever. Or whatever. Yeah, huh? that's yeah. the... Mr. Look, Mr. Williams. I never slept with her. I mean, when I was going out with her, I never slept with her. It was a kiss. She knew about it. She, you know, that's all... Ah! Uh-huh. Right. Did you so, hear that? What? Did you hear what he said? That they kissed? Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. You gonna ask him about that? You can ask him. No, you go ahead. You ask. Why are you kissing the babysitter? Uh, just, she was an ex. I just, you know, I mean, I, I'm telling you, the 2016, I was just, I didn't take her serious. I didn't take nothing serious. I just was, I, I was a cheater. Cheater. We've been together for a year at this point. I mean. So, you're saying, but that's the only time. Yeah, let you... me, let me put something straight. All right. I, I, I did what I did. Yeah. I did what I did. Okay. I've done what I've done in 2016. But beyond this point, there's nothing. I, I have learned to love. Liar. I learned to learn to cherish what there's she has. There's the liar. I mean, I could never ask for a better woman in my life. I mean, God put really hands okay. down. Okay, so you're doing all this stuff, which is, you know, which is you know very Same innovative. Yeah, you're doing all this stuff. Have you have you seen anything? Oh yeah. That you think he's cheating? Yeah, his new thing is he likes to get on dating apps. Oh, oh. In fact, okay. I actually have um, a picture of one, a screenshot of one of his sites. Rob, would you get that, please? Yes, Sean. This is a different one. And you know this. Thank you. Okay, so what are we looking at here? Um, this is one a of the profile. dating sites and his name and what he says on there as, as about himself. Uh, fun one night stand. About Tommy. One night stands are good love, having fun, eating blank like a champ. <laughs> Live like it's your last. Wants to date, but nothing serious. But, but he doesn't think about anybody else. So, Mr. Williams. Did you put this out here in the world? Yep. <laughs> While you were with Ms. Burkhart? No, um, I, was, I was kicked out at the time. No. Why were you kicked out? Uh, I get kicked out all the time for lying. Yeah. And... So... Are you, are... <laughs> So why we... know this doesn't make sense, but it does in my head. I mean, all right. So you lie about things. That's why you constantly get kicked out. Is that? Right. I, I lie about going to the boat, gambling. I mean, I lie about a lot of stuff. Are you being facetious or are you being real? He's I'm, being real. I'm being real. I'm, okay. I, I'm all right. Lie. I don't lie. I'm, I'm telling you. I'm telling you the absolute truth. I just want to get the bottom of this. I mean, I have cheated. He in the just said he don't lie. But anymore, <laughs> okay. Wait a minute. Hold on, Miss. Hold up. Your testimony is I'm a liar. <laughs> yes or no? I have lied. I know I just said yes or no. Did I not just say yes, yes, yes or no? Yes, I am a liar, yes. Okay, and so she doesn't trust you at all? Right, no, no okay. trust at all. I don't blame her. No. Okay. <laughs> all right, so now my question is, when you get kicked out for lying, do you go out and make profiles? Uh, I do not talk to no other females. I'm telling you this right now, I don't. You might look at the dating sites. All this might look to a judge and jury. I'm guilty as hell, but I'm not. <laughs> Okay, okay, I am not. All right, I, let, I am let, faithful let. to her. I know it sounds crazy, but I am. Ever since that kiss, I'm beyond. I have not talked to no female, have not even mentioned no female. I might get on the same sites and go on and blah, 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 but I don't talk to nobody. <laughs> Except for the girl I'm <laughs> I still don't talk to nobody. Okay, so, tell, me about it. tell me about this. Well, he was getting messages on his phone, so I texted this girl, this number from my phone, and said, quit texting my man. Oh, please you show submitted, the picture. You submitted those texts. Oh, please show I did, the picture. I did. Okay. Please show the picture. So show the she picture. says, here's that pic I told you I was sending. And Miss Burkhart, you responded, you're ugly. Yeah. <laughs> and she yeah. says, I was chatting with a guy on there. I guess he gave me the wrong number. And then you say, quit texting my boyfriend. Yeah. 
Yeah, show the, show the woman, please. And then it says, she says, sorry, babe, can't speak. Keep sending my man pics, and I'm going to rip your Be- blanking hair out. Yeah. OK, so did she respond to this? She did. Oh, what did she do? She sent me oh. this. Ron, would you get yes, that? Your honor. Whatever it is. Thank you, ma'am. And are you kidding me? Are you serious? But she also sent to his phone as well. But are you serious? Look at me, Aunt. Wow. Your Honor, Your Honor, look at me. Really. And so this is what... I have a $9 dollar job. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just sorry. This is crazy. Crazy. Wow. Yeah, wow. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm not in Mr. Uh, so, Mr. Williams, you're saying you're not having conversations with these <laughs> folks. Why is she sending you a picture? I really honestly don't know. I mean... How would she get his phone number? Really? See, yeah. See how his, his life is? See how he's living? Uh-huh. He's got to like that. Uh-huh. Some men got to like that. I mean, some of us got to work. You know, some men it just falls in that What you working on? I'm working on you. <laughs> I mean, I, I spend all my time working on you. <laughs> all right, Mr. Cutler. I think we got enough. I think... Do you? Yeah, I think... Because, I mean, it's going back and forth. I hear what's going on. You know, he says, yes, he's cheated in the past. And he's made some mistakes. But now since 2017, has he been involved with anybody else? He's been faithful to her. Ms. Burkhardt doesn't believe it. She doesn't buy it. I understand. If he's lying, you're done. Yeah. Okay. And that's why at this time, the court would like to call interrogator Lena Sisko and licensed polygraph examiner Kendall Shule to determine, is he cheating? (laughs) Rob, would you support the man? We conducted an interrogation as well as a polygraph examination to get to the answers today. So we have Ms. Sisko and Mr. Shull here. Ms. Sisko, what did you do to determine about Mr. Williams' dealings with the babysitter? I asked him about the relationship. He told me that he gave her money and that she kissed him. And then he made the comment, if I'm gonna be giving someone something, why not get something in return? And so then I asked him specifically if he was having sex with her. And he responded, no. And as he said this, he showed disgust on his face, which to me appeared to be a truthful response. Aha. <laughs> and so, Mr. Shull, you asked Mr. Williams, since being in a relationship with Ms. Burkhart, have you had sexual intercourse with your babysitter? What was his response? He said no, Your Honor. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined that he was being truthful, Your Honor. Ms. Sisko, in your investigation, what did you determine about Mr. Williams having sexual contact with any other women that Ms. Burkhardt doesn't know about? He started telling me a story which was on a part of their separation when he got kicked out of the house for a three-week period of time. And his co-worker had introduced him to a female. Oh, And as he was telling me this story, he leaned back in his chair and he put his hands behind his head, which is a classic body language position for confidence and satisfaction. So when was this? Hold on, Ms. Burkhart. And so, Mr. Shaw, you asked Mr. Williams other than the two women Ms. Burkhardt knows about, have you had physical sexual contact with anyone other than Ms. Burkhardt? What was his response to that question? He said no, Your Honor. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined that he was being deceptive, mm-hmm. Your Honor. <laughs> Mr. Williams, now you mentioned that you have lied. Now's the time to come clean. I wasn't with nobody. That's the problem. I mean, I, w- I was introduced to somebody, but I didn't go no further. Well, than that. but you've had sexual contact with somebody. No, I have not. Never have. Okay, so this person you were introduced to, tell me about that. You just met on the phone. You met in person. Uh, yeah, met, um, went for. Which one? Um, we went. Matter of fact, we went to the boat that night. And but. So you met and you went gambling with her. 
Right, but it just... Did you go to bed with her? No. Did you kiss her? No. Did you fondle her? No. Did you touch her in any way? No, I didn't even like... I wasn't even interested. Okay. You know what? He's not gonna tell the truth. Right. Hey, it's over. It's it good. is over. <laughs> Mr. Shield, did he admit anything to you? He did, Your Honor. Tell me about that. He admitted to me during the polygraph that during a breakup that happened about a year and a half ago, that he did have sex with other women. Other women, plural. Yes. Miss Burkhart, you know, I, to be honest with you, I don't think you needed to come here to know the truth. You've known. You've known but in I, your heart. I had to because when he leaves, I, he tells me that I'm wrong, you know, and, and I start thinking that, that I'm wrong and I don't know for sure, and so, this was the only way that I can make him leave and know for sure. You all are engaged. You've been engaged for five months. And you actually got engaged one month after you met. Yes, sir. Correct. All right. Uh, Mr. Casper, why have you brought your fiance to couples court? I need to know if she is cheating on me with our roommate. Uh, I pl we plan to get married in two months. And I need to know if this is the truth so that, because I can, cannot deal with cheaters. So, wait, you're supposed to be getting married in two months. Yes. And you are concerned, you are worried that she is sleeping with your roommate. Yes. All right, Ms. Brown, Mr. Casper says that you're cheating on him. Is that correct? Once, yes. One time? Oh. Yes, sir. What about right now? Are you faithful right now? Yes, I am. You're not cheating on him right now? No. You have not cheated since that one time? Yes, Your Honor. Do you love him? Yes, I do. Do you want to go through with this wedding in two months? Yes, I do, because I still want him to adopt my daughter. So you have a baby, and yes. you all want to be a family. Yeah. Do you want to be a father to her child? I do. All right, so what's on the line here is the possibility that this family might not ever happen. What's on the line is that this relationship will end. Her and the roommate will have, will be kicked out of the house because I am the main leaseholder on the apartment, and I will find somebody else to live there if I have to. Okay, so take me back to when you fell in love, before all of these issues came up. Well, I was, I was at a friend's, uh, one of her friends' house. Uh, I had been dating her at the time. The day she walked in to the house, um, I fell in love first sight. I saw... Oh, she's blushing. What was it about her that made you say, this is it? The attitude. The attitude? She had an attitude. <laughs> I, like, I like when people, they like to tell me exactly what's going on, not... She wasn't fake. Yeah, exactly. She was real. She had, whenever she needed help, she would ask. She was in a bad relationship at the time. And so whenever she needed help, I would be late to, I would make myself late to work to go pick her up from that, from that house that she is living at okay. and take her with me to work and leave my keys and bring a blanket for her so she can sleep in my car so she can actually get a good night rest. He gave up a lot, honestly. What did he give up? He gave up his family and a roof over his head to be with me. And that he, touched you deeply? Yeah, it did. He was my knight in shining armor. And that. basically saved me from it all. <laughs> and, he, and he stepped in with your pregnancy? Yeah, he claimed her as his own even before we even started dating. Was he at the birth? I cut the, I cut the umbilical cord. So you, you have been the, the only father this child has known. Exactly. So what went wrong in the relationship? Well, our old roommate moved out and we needed to find another roommate to move in to help with bills. And so she found somebody that I could actually move in, an old friend from Job Corps. And I said, I was feeling like with my Libra and empathy. And the energy that you're feeling in this situation is wrong. Yes. Something wasn't gonna, was gonna happen with it, but I let it go because we needed the help. What I, was that? What was it about this person? If people are with around my fiance, I'm able to sense if they're getting too close with the way they talk, the way they text, things like that. Miss Brown. How did you meet this gentleman you were bringing into your home? We went to Job Corps back in 2014 and lost contact for two, three years. So I seen he was looking for a place to stay. Okay. And I, told, I went to him and convinced him to let Andrew move in. All right, did you have a relationship with this gentleman beforehand? We knew each other, but didn't associate. Okay. All right. And how long have you known him? So two, three years. Right, Mr. Casper, did you question her about who was going to be moving into your apartment? I, I just asked her a little bit about him just to see if my bad feelings would go away. My feelings kind of went away because I could see that nothing would happen before. 
So I wouldn't, I was okay with it after that. So you then let this uh, gentleman move in yes. with you? Yes. Did those feelings, those bad feelings or vibes you were getting, did they go away after he moved in? No, they're still there, but it wasn't until she started becoming distant. Whenever I asked her to talk to me, she would just, she would, she wouldn't, she would walk out of the room. She would go talk to him. And I was, it was kind of, I feel like I was getting too close. Ms. Brown, were you paying more attention to this gentleman than to your fiance? Yes, I was. Oh, okay. well. Why were you doing that? I became more distant from him and started paying more attention to Andrew because he, uh, he became lazy after Andrew moved in. He was on the game also from the time he got home from the t to the time we had to go to bed. So he was playing on his games all evening? Yeah. He wasn't helping around the house? Correct. He wasn't so helping with the baby? Uh, no. So, Cutler, Cutler, when you come home after a day of work, what are some of the things that you do so that you kn I know that you're in the game with me? Well, the first thing, just ask you how your day went. I mean, even though we work together, we don't see each other all day, mm -hmm. but... We try not to ignore each other when we come home. You know, if she's been home with the baby all day, then, you know, one of the first things you ought to do is, how was your day? Anything I can help with? Were you doing that? I, I asked her what I can do. I, she, whenever I came home, as soon as I walked in the door, I need to do this and this and take care of the baby. Because uh, whenever she doesn't want to change the baby, she says, uh, can you go change her? Do this, do that. Wasn't. Well, Ms. Brown, was your roommate giving you more attention than Mr. Casper was giving you? Yes, he was. He'd actually listen and help out, help out more than Clayton was. I, we talked about how I was frustrated with him not helping. And see, I would try to talk. To, I would try to talk to her, and I'd say, "What's up? What can I? Do? What, what's wrong? What, what's wrong? What can I do to fix myself?" And she would just say, "It doesn't matter." But if he's offering to do better, you can't just say, "I'm not going to respond to that," because it ends up being you end up being here with me. Correct. <laughs> At some point, did you sense that there was just something yeah. not right? They were getting too close for my taste. She would be like right next to him, like really close, kind of like cuddling, but not, but not enough. All right. So when you say cuddling, do you mean you know like this or just like really close arm together. around her or no, just like really close together? So like this, yes, yeah, kind of like that. Mm -hmm. And he would be holding the baby. So did you have a conversation with him about this? And what I, did he say? He told me he was going to back off. He told me himself that he told her that she, he had feelings for her. Did you confront her about yeah, this? Yeah, I asked her about if, she, if he told her that, and she said yes. What did that look like? Like, my heart just dropped. Okay, and what did she say when you confronted her? Like, she was, like, she would get in feelings for him, too. So every once in a while, like, not as strong as they were with me, but still, I tried to fix myself to make her the man she wanted. Man, she can depend on. Wow. Did you have feelings for your roommate? At the time, I did, yes. Did you think about how your fiancé would feel about that? It was kind of in a moment thing, so technically, no. And what was that moment? Well, um, to go back to what he was saying, we were close, so when he was at work the first time, we, we slept together. So, so when your fiancé was out making a living, Yes. You were sleeping with the roommate? Yes, I was. She had slept with him on my bed while I was at work. <laughs> okay, Miss Brown, how do you end up sleeping with another man, your roommate, in your fiancé's bed? How do you do that? The situation was he turned around and kissed me, and it happened from there. We ended up having sex that one time. I heard it from her, and I'd rather have heard it from him as soon as it happened, because I told him I'm lenient the first time I hear about it. Did I hear him right? Did he say it would be okay, he would be lenient? Well, you did hear him right. Okay. But, but what I heard was you said, look, something's wrong, just tell me. Exactly. I just want to okay. know because we can fix this. Just tell me. All right. And I think that's good in the relationship. And then what happened? Did you talk to the roommate then about what had happened? Yeah, I, like the first time, don't let it happen again, because I will not... I will not be leaning. I will kick both of you out. I will end the relationship, and I will find somebody else to live with. Mm -hmm. You are a very reasonable man. There are a lot of people who have gone stone crazy. I got the Southern House. I'm from North Carolina. But it was your understanding and belief that it only happened one time. Yes. And because you thought it only happened one time, you were willing to move past that. Yes. And you were willing to forgive her. Yes. And willing to make your relationship work. Yes, Your Honor. So it's just in the best interest of that baby and her.
Okay, but what if you find out today that it's been more than once? It wasn't just that one time. Then what? If it happened between the time she, the time that happened the first time and the time that I forgave her for everything in the past, I will honor my word and it will and I will let it go. But, but if it happened after the time that I was lenient and I told him that it was okay, that I would forgive him. If it was after that moment. The relationship over. I will kick him out as soon as we get back home. Do and you understand what is going to happen if it comes out that you were unfaithful again? Yes, Your Honor. You understand that your family that you're planning to have with him, this family unit, will go away? Yes, I do. And you understand he's going to put you out of your home? Yes. If it happened again, I will kick them out, no matter what. All right. In order to get to the bottom of this, to make sure we have a full understanding of what's going on, the court has tracked down the roommate, Andrew. And he is here in court today. Yes. Ron, would you please bring in Andrew Butler? Yes, Sean. Go ahead and take the seat right up next to the judges. Mr. Butler, thank you for being here today. You are their roommate, correct? Yes, sir. What is the nature of your relationship with Ms. Brown? I've known her for about three years. I do have feelings for her, yes. And I would like to have a committed relationship. Okay. There was testimony earlier that you and Ms. Brown had sexual relations. Yes, sir. How did that happen? I went in there. We talked about everything that was going on, the relationship between... Miss Brown and, Ms. and uh, Mr. Casper. Um, I told her how I felt. Um, she told me how she felt that she had the same kind of feelings for me. We, you know, I kissed her. I, and then she kissed me back, and it just kind of went on from there. All right. So you made the first move, so to speak. Yes, so to speak. But she reciprocated. She yes. kissed you back. Yes. Do Do you have feelings for this man? They've died down because we moved on from it. It was causing a lot of problems between the really? three. Really? Uh, just a lot of problems? Yeah. <laughs> so you no longer have feelings for him? No. Well, you know, that's very interesting. In preparing for cases, we do a little research of our own. And we uncovered a posting that Andrew had. And I would like to read it. It says, I don't know what to do anymore. I am in love with someone, and she knows it, but she has someone else, and I know I can't be with her. But it kills me not to be with her. I don't know what to do. It's dated June 8th. <laughs> Mr. Butler, is this your post? Yes, it is. So do you still have feelings for her? Yes, I do, but... But? I know I can't be. Is she treating you differently in the last couple of weeks? Um, yeah, she, we don't really talk as much. Um, we don't really hang out as much. And, on, and like, like she said, we both have kind of moved on. And, you know, I've been trying to find someone else to be with, so I don't continue to make this drama. But there is something we have. We had a, I found a post, I had a random person on Facebook send me a post. Mm hmm um, that was dated June 6th, I believe. This is from her, um, on a post, on a great, uh, Facebook group post. Okay. That a random person sent me on Facebook. So I need opinions. Me and my significant other have been fighting a lot lately. He doesn't help unless I get mad at him, and when I ask him to do something, he makes excuses. Lately, we've been fighting so much that it's pushing me away. I don't feel the same anymore. I don't know what I want anymore. I've been looking around our, I've been around our roommate for some time. And we're, we've just been talking as friends, but the problem is I'm starting to grow feelings for our roommate. I also knew him for a couple years before he moved in. What should I say or do? I should also mention that me and my significant other are engaged. Okay, when was that post? I believe June 6th. Ms. Brown, do you recognize that post? Yes, Your Honor. You posted that? Yes, I did. And the roommate you're referring to is Mr. Butler? Yes. You still have feelings for Mr. Butler? Not anymore, no. Not anymore since that post? Yes. What happened between... That post is very recent, right? Yes. And so when you wrote that, you were telling pretty much the whole world that you and your fiancé are having problems and you have feelings for your roommate. Practically, yes. 
Mr. Butler, let me ask you this. Mr. Casper testified that the sexual intercourse between you and his fiance only happened one time. Is that correct? No. So how many times did you and Ms. Brown have sex? It was twice. When did that occur? The first time when he was at work, I want to say it was during the beginning of the week. The second time, it was towards the end of the week. So it was in the same week? Yes. Miss Brown, why did you lie to your fiance? I was scared that for the second time he'd leave and I didn't want him to happen because I wanted things to work out. Mr. Casper, you look devastated. Am I wrong? You're not wrong. Tell me how you're feeling. It hurts that they both lied to me, but like a man does, I will keep my word. And like I said, I forgive for everything up to, for everything up to that point, I forgave them. You got a crown in heaven. You hear me? <laughs> now, I, 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 I gotta tell you. What do you have to say to this man? I still want things to work out. You know, ever since then, I haven't slept with him, anyone else. I have been trying to work on our relationship and the family we're trying to build. And I still want things to work out for us to get married and then and possibly having more down the road. Let me just say this to you. If he takes you back, you need to act like you have found a gold mine. Yeah. Because you have. Very lucky. <laughs>